welcome to Bloomberg Quint. Uh, we've had a little bit of a bouncer of a, a MPC review and an RBI policy, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, the headline rate, uh, which is the repo rate, has certainly been left unchanged. Uh, now, remember, the repo rate uh, is the key policy rate, and until before the COVID uh, crisis hit, all other rates adjusted to that repo rate. But then the COVID crisis hit, and the RBI started to use the reverse repo rate as a tool uh, on its own, and it cut that rate to 3.35%, and that became the effective rate in the market, because that is the rate at which the RBI was absorbing liquidity, and we were in a surplus liquidity situation. What they have done this time around is that they have gone back to a liquidity framework, which had been suggested way back. Now, stay with me here. I'm just going to run you through steps of it. Firstly, a new facility called the Standing Deposit Facility, which has been talked about for very long, has been activated. Now, this is a facility where you don't need collateral uh, to actually put, uh, the RBI doesn't have to give collateral to actually take money from banks, which means that they can absorb larger amounts of liquidity through this window. Now, this window has been activated, and it has been activated at a rate which is 25 basis points below the repo rate, which then becomes 375. So repo is at four. Standing deposit facility, which will now be the floor of the interest rate corridor, has become the uh, second facility to watch out for, and that rate is at 375. The marginal standing facility has been active, and it remains active, and this is for any sort of uh, you know, uh, infusion of liquidity uh, that is required, and that rate is 25 basis points above the repo rate. So when the RBI governor started by saying that we have normalized the interest rate corridor to 50 basis points, that interest rate corridor now is the standing deposit facility at 375, the repo rate at 4, and then the marginal standing facility at 425. Those seem like they have become the three operative rates within the interest rate corridor. Okay, so what happened to the reverse repo rate? That's what we were all obsessing about till a policy or two ago. Well, the reverse repo rate stays at 3.35%. That's the fixed rate reverse repo. And the RBI said that they will hold it in their toolkit. But from everything that we can understand so far, that rate is now effectively irrelevant to the market uh, because the standing deposit facility rate becomes the lower end of the interest rate corridor. Also, most of the, uh, the absorption is happening through the variable rate reverse repo auctions. And those will continue to be auctions and you know, they've been priced very close to repo. So that you know, continues to be the effective rate that the market will work on. But the lower end of the interest rate corridor now effectively becomes 375. So, okay, I'm gonna repeat myself here because you know, uh, this uh, may take a little while to actually understand. So here's it, uh, here, are the, here are the key takeaways. Repo rate is at 4%, standing deposit facility, which is the lower end of the corridor is 375 and the upper end of the corridor is 425. Effectively, in my understanding, the rate is now 375 to work with because the reverse repo rate of 335 seems like it has become operationally irrelevant. So that is uh, sort of the nuance uh, that is very important to capture. Uh, let me move beyond that and talk a little bit about what they have done with their uh, monetary policy stance, also with growth and inflation expectations. Uh, so the monetary policy stance has been retained at accommodative, uh, but again, uh, the statement has been changed uh, with a focus on withdrawal of accommodation uh, to account for the uh, rising inflation pressures that we're seeing in the economy while keeping in mind growth. So uh, you have seen the accommodative stance uh, get uh, you know, hyphenated with a shift in focus towards withdrawal of accommodation, and you have also seen a shift from a focus on growth while keeping inflation in mind to a focus on inflation while keeping growth in mind. Uh, they have cut their growth forecast to 7.2% uh, for uh, FY23, uh, uh, and they have raised their inflation forecast very, very sharply uh, to 5.7% for the current fiscal year, uh, which means then that for the rest of the year, they should now be moving towards tightening in the assumption that they want to bring uh, inflation down closer towards the midpoint of their inflation corridor. Uh, and that midpoint is at 4%. <laughs> so again, I'm going to leave you with a summary. This is a reasonably hawkish uh, policy that has been delivered. The repo rate has been left unchanged, but the liquidity framework change means that the effective rate goes from the reverse repo rate, which was at 335, to the standing deposit facility rate, which is at 375. 
Uh, and you have seen a nuanced change in the stance, which is very clearly shifting focus towards withdrawal of accommodation with an eye on inflation pressures uh, that are building up. The RBI press conference uh, will go live at noon on Bloomberg Quid. Do stay tuned because you will hear a lot of questions on all of these sort of finer points of today's policy.